Hi everyone, this is Casey the Cook, and today I'm making stuffed peppers. It's a really fast um, dinner, and we have our lean chopped meat here. Actually, I made my sauce with two cans of tuna russo seasoning, garlic and onion, and I put salt and pepper and a little tablespoon of red wine. Then we have over here, we have our cooked rice that's on top of the stove, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that in a few minutes. Now I got, but instead of wasting my peppers, what I did is, when I see that they're close to going to change in the refrigerator, I cut them in slices and I freeze them. And you can really save on vegetables that way. You can see that they're going to go bad or whatever. Um, they're not bad, it's just I didn't want them to go bad. So anyway, right now I'm going to show you what we're going to do to mix up our um, stuff that we're going to put into the peppers. It's going to be chopped meat and rice. Okay, and then we're going to put some seasoning. I guess as much as you prefer, really. Not too, too much of seasoning. Because the sauce has seasoning in it. Just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of taste. Okay. Now we're going to add some black crushed pepper. some salt, not too much. We have our sauce cooking and we have our oven on 350 and it's preheating right now. Okay, now we're going to add some ketchup. And we'll just give it a little bit of sweetness. That's the end of the ketchup. Okay, and on the back side, now we're going to add a little bit of breadcrumbs. much. Now we're going to take our cooked rice and roll it down the sauce and we're going to mix it around. Okay, we're going to add some of the rice right into the chopped meat as much as you prefer. stuffed pepper, so that's what we're going to do for today. Okay, and we're going to add, I'm going to clean off the spoon here. And we're going to add some of this homemade sauce. We're going to add this in also. because we're going to put that at the bottom of our pan that I showed you of the peppers. That's going to cool off right now. And we're going to show you the rest of this recipe when we're almost there, but we are going to be finished within about five more minutes. So continue to watch the next video. Thank you. Hi, it's, I'm back. It's Casey the Cook, and this is a continuation of my stuffed peppers. Okay, mixed up all the rice and the chopped meat. Mixed it up well. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of sauce at the bottom of our pan. Okay. I'm going to add that at the bottom. But it, I like it swimming in the sauce, actually. So we're going to put the, uh, look at that, homemade ice marinara sauce with some onion and seasoning. Now we're going to place the peppers in the pan. Okay, now I'm going to put the camera on just to show you what we're going to do. We're going to stuff these peppers. We might have a lot of leftover, so I'm going to make more a little later on, but I'm just showing you something really quickly. 
Yeah, we want me to be doing this. Make them pretty much high. Stuff them down. I don't know if you can see this. We need to stuff them. Look at that. Delicious. Fantastic. I'm actually is really stuffing them like a whole lot on these peppers so I don't have to make any more later on or tomorrow because I don't have much time. But we're going to stuff them really well. And they're going to cook really well in the oven. So they basically mold well right into the pepper. to add some more of the sauce. Let me show you that up close. Look at this, how delicious, how beautiful, stuffed really well. Now we're going to add our sauce. It's our homemade sauce right on the top. Each one. And we're going to cook in the sauce in the oven for about close to an hour. 45, to, actually 45 minutes to an hour because I added extra meat in the peppers. Okay, oh, look at that. How delicious is that? Okay, that's it. I'm going to shut everything down and we're going to show you what we have here. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there it is. Look at that. Delicious. It's going right into the oven. Cook it in the oven for about 45 to 45 minutes to an hour is great. So 350. We're gonna put this right in. Keep a watch on it. Way in the back of the oven, and I hope you enjoyed. Please continue to watch my videos and enjoy your day. Please subscribe. Have a great one.